Now we're in my truck and uh, we're fixing to uh, take off. I-110 I uh, is not very far from my shop since I'm at 9th and Jordan. You can almost see it from here. So we're going to go down Maxwell and jump on the interstate. I'm going to show you the sounds through the shifting points uh, up the ramp uh, onto the interstate. Uh, I'll tell you the speed we're doing and uh, I will at one point shut up so you can hear just what you're hearing in the in the truck and then I'm going to turn my air conditioner on to high blow uh, you know we're in May now so it's getting a little hot and I'll turn it up and you'll hear that the, the AC makes way more sound than the exhaust does so if you can live with your AC uh, blowing on speed say four or three much less five you're going to be not upset with the sound of this 40 series model. Okay, we're stopped here uh, right at the ramp of uh, I-110 and I'm fixing to jump on it. The light's green. Here we go. Uh, I'll uh, be quiet so you can hear going up the ramp through the shifting points. As you can hear, you can see it growling up as it's aggressively moving into a uh, faster speed, you know, and I'm accelerating it. Um, we're ramping on the interstate here. We're on the interstate now. We're at 50 miles an hour. I'm going to put it on cruise control. Got a lot of traffic here. That's the sound, folks. I'm going to shut up and you can hear it. That is the sound of 55 miles an hour on I-10. So it's a myth that, you know, the thing's going to drone on you when you're on the interstate. That it's gonna just knock your socks off loud. The only time you hear it, again, when you step on it, you hear it. And I call that bragging right. Either you want some sound or you want to keep it stock. But if you want to have it sound good, this is the system. You heard how loud it sounded before on the outside. That is nothing like it sounds in the cab as I just demonstrated.